Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of January the 8th to January the 15th, 2018. Happy New Year everybody, we've made it to 2018. A fresh page, a fresh calendar, a fresh whole new year ahead of us to make all the changes that we want to do this year. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing my videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, you can go up there and push that button and it will take you to my website where you can see my services if you should desire a private reading with me or a Reiki session treatment with me. Let's get on with it Taurus. We're starting our week on Monday with an Earth card and you have been given the Six of Earth. And Earth cards have to do mainly with the material part of our lives, often our jobs, careers, and how we bring that currency and that abundance into our lives. But it can also have to do with our personal life, our families, or people close enough that we feel we want to bring into our family circle. I do see that this has to do with gifts coming in. Some of you are going to be receiving perhaps an inheritance. Some of you have been waiting for a check uh, to come in. Some of you, it may be, um, it could even be an unemployment check. It could be a settlement uh, from something that was legal. It could be, um, you know, some sort of, of, of um a check that's coming in to you by way of a royalty, but I do see gifts coming in uh, for some of you with money. With others, I see that you're going to be getting gifts in the form of time or effort. So you're going to be getting, uh, you know, a payback for something that you've done, and or some of you may be getting a gift of time where you're going to be able to uh, get some time off that you so deserve, perhaps with your job, and you've been able now to take a vacation and take this time. So these gifts can come in in the in money, time, or effort, and some of you will be receiving one of these that will come into you. Now I do see some of you. Uh, there's a new career on your path. There are new career opportunities that are going to be offered to you, Taurus. They're coming in uh, uh, this beginning of January. And I do see that uh, some of you will be able to um, pay off any debts with these gifts that are coming in. Uh, any outstanding debts, you're going to be able to clear them or any loans. Now, if some of you applied for a loan or you've applied for money or you've put in um, something to, whether it's a legal thing with your lawyer, you're suing someone, uh, something like that you've put in for money, please know that you are going to receive this. It's, it's positive, it's going to come into you. Um, or if you've put in to, to borrow money from someone or a, you know, a loan of some sort, you, it will be accepted and agreed to that you will receive this money. Ace of Water on Tuesday. And aces have to do, aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits. But the water cards are, are, are a, our uh, uh, relationship cards trying to get that word out and not always are they romantic and intimate they can be or they can just be friendship relationships but this is telling me that this is some of you are actually uh, you're embarking on a new relationship it shows me someone new's coming into some of your lives and this will be a new romance coming in um, it, it's, it's for some of you it will be a new romance with a new individual with others who have been in a relationship, a long-standing relationship, know that maybe things have been a bit rough and a bit rocky in that relationship, but now you're going to see the resurgence of that loving relationship again. Um, for some of you, I do see you walking a new path, uh, taking a new journey, a spiritual journey that you've been thinking about. And um, you're tapping into your own intuition, your own, um, your own uh, in, intuitive uh, gifts that you have as well. They're becoming more attuned and enheightened for some of you. Now, for others, I do see that this new part of 218 is going to bring in change for you in the form of a new home. Some of you, I see, are going to be moving somewhere new and into a different home. Some of you, it may be a new home, some of you may be an older home, but some of you are definitely going to be moving to a different home. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given a fire card, the four of fire, and fire cards are all about self-development, our personal self-development, and things like that. 
and getting involved in that. And this is telling me that um, I do see some of you uh, are starting to feel a little more at peace. Uh, there's some contentment and peace, and I do see abundance coming in again. So there will be, uh, you know, finances coming into some of you in the form of money, um, and others I do see that it's going to be abundance in the form of love and a relationship and friendship. I do see a happy home life for some of you. Things are improving there. Things are getting better for some of you. And it also refers to um, a project that some of you may have been working on. It will be completed. But they refer to it as being completed successfully. King of Fire for Thursday. So this is telling me that um, there is a project or there is a situation uh, that you're working on that you need to really, really focus on, okay, in your life. It could be in your personal life, but it could also be have to do with business, and you need to really focus. And I do see you having to communicate, and I want you to really, really communicate with them with vision, okay? And uh, because you have the ability to step up and be a leader now, okay? So if there's a situation that uh, needs to be solved and resolved, you may be the one that has to step up and say, come on, let's get this done, let's deal with this, and this is how we can do it, okay? You will be getting some advice from someone else. I do see uh, someone's going to step up and give you some advice as to how you can go about uh, taking up this leadership role and how you can resolve this situation in your life right now. Queen of Earth for Friday. So this is telling me that you're going to make time, this came up in the last reading too, that you're going to be making time for people around you. And this card can often refer to people at work, it can re refer to the relationship of them at work, but it can also refer to your close circle, which is uh, relatives and family members. And there may have been, and this card always shows me that for some of you there, there was a bit of a, a challenge there, there was um, it was a disappointing situation. There might have been, um, you know, the relationship uh, had maybe fallen apart and stepped back and things were not as close as they used to be. So I do see that you're going to be taking um, an approach towards these people again in a more sensible, caring, kinder and understanding manner because I do see there will be, um, you know, uh, I do see that there may be an apology coming in to some of you, or you may be issuing an apology. But I do see that your hearts are going to mend, and I do see that these people and you are going to get back together in your good graces again. On Saturday, you've been given the Three of Earth. And this is showing me that um, some of you are going to get recognized for the work that you do put out. Uh, perhaps it has to do with some of you at your place of employment, and you've been uh, you've been doing very good, uh, high quality work at, uh, at your place of employment. But I also see some of you may be involved in um, you know an extracurricular activity. Perhaps it's the arts. Perhaps it's a course you're taking. Perhaps it's a, a project or uh, a group or an organization that some of you are in. But again, you're going to get recognized for the good work that you've been putting out there. Everybody knows that you're a team player, and that's what makes you successful, is that you're willing to give and take and compromise, okay, for the greater good for everybody that's involved in this situation. You have the power of creativity. It's amazing. <clears throat> Page of Air for the end of the week on Sunday. And Air cards have to do often with injustice and the people that bring that into our lives. And also, it can have to do with legal issues. Uh, you know, if people are dealing with lawyers and attorneys and uh, they're dealing with things with law. So this is telling me that there will be some information coming into you. And if they were making plans and you thought it was a done deal, please know that there will be some delays coming into those plans because of this challenging information that's going to surface. And there's going to be a truth discovered, okay? Someone's going to going to going to relay this information to you about a truthfulness, and you're not going to like either the person who's delivered it, how they've delivered it, or how it came out that you heard about it. I want you to forget all of that and just take the message, okay? Don't attack the messenger, as they say. Take this information because it's information about truthfulness that you need to hear, okay? And you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be curious about it. It will be a bit challenging, and it is going to make some delays in any plans that you've been making, but just accept that information, okay? <clears throat> At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card from the Ascended Masters. And how ironic that you got this card. Open your heart to love. 
so you know what it it talked about uh, it talked about you um, you know with an apology issuing an apology getting along again with certain people that you know that had been challenging in your life um, you know opening your heart to love not just romantic love but love uh, love for yourself, love for the people around you, the love that you've been missing. So please open your heart to love because you're ready for that. So look at things now through that filter, that filter of love, and things are going to be a whole lot easier for you to accept. So first of all, it starts here with ourselves, okay? We have to love ourselves and heal ourselves before we can project that love out to other people. And when we have that for ourselves and we feel good about that within ourselves, it's easy to just, it just, it just radiates from us. So I, I want you to think about opening your heart to love right now because that's the card the universe has sent you. That is a message that your angels, ascended masters, and the divine sources that be have given you. And that's what they're sending to you, that you need to love yourself and be open to accept love from others coming in. Some of you may have been in relationships that have really broken your heart and you've stepped back and you've become hardened and bitter and and uh, guarded and scared and frightened about uh, opening up again. Please know now that the universe is sending you this message. It's okay. It's okay now. You're ready. You're ready now. The healing process has begun and you're ready to open your heart to love again. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic Taurus to look forward to. It's been great coming back out here again. It's been a while since I've done this and I've missed it, but um, there's been a lot going on in my personal life as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading. I wish you many, many blessings and I'll see you again soon.